which mm -hmm. means he used to fly. Whoa. Well, of course. How can you have dominion over the birds and not be able to do what they do? Whoa. Actually, I mean, the, wait a minute. I, wait, I'll prove it to you. Wait a minute, Danny. I've never heard that. The word um, dominion yes? in the Hebrew clearly declares that if you have dominion over a subject, that you do everything that subject does. In other words, that subject, if it does something you, you cannot do, you don't have dominion over it. I'll prove it further. Adam not only flew, he flew to space. He used to be... He, 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 he was... With, one thought he'd be on the moon. Suddenly, I began to be aware that my body, that my spirit, is coming out of my body. And, I, and it, it scared me, and, and I, man, I, I grabbed hold of it with my will and wouldn't let it go. You said the day you were down there in such and such town, standing over there behind that curtain, and your spirit started coming out of your body, and you jerked back like that, and thought you was dying, and you let fear get hold of you, and I remember I did. I said, well, God, I mean, <laughs> really, now, is this what kind of a horse do you think I am? That they're not going to, you know, at least give you a few chills to stand there and die. He said, you weren't dying. I said, what do you mean I wasn't dying? My spirit was coming out of my body. He said, that's right. You were fixing. He said, you were just about to come out of your body, and I was going to allow you to minister to that congregation without your body. You were going to go through that congregation like a whirlwind of the power and the glory of God. I said, you let's show me that in the Scripture. He said, and he showed me 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. He said, you missed that opportunity for that experience. I said, what was I going to do? He said, I'm not going to tell you. You missed it. I said, can I have a second chance? <laughs> Why did he need to be begotten or born? Because he became like we were, separated from God. Because he tasted spiritual death for every man. And his spirit, the inner man, went to hell in my place. Can't you see that? Physical death wouldn't remove your sins. He's tasted death for every man. He's talking about tasting spiritual death. Jesus is the first person that was ever born again. Why did His Spirit need to be born again? Because it was estranged from God. Suddenly, Dr. Cirillo's organization faced a major tragedy. It concerned Audrey Reynolds, a 25-year-old with a congenital brain abnormality who'd been an usher at the Earl's Court meetings. She'd gone up on stage to testify that her ankle had been cured. How do you know that your leg is healed? Because I can jump. I can jump. You can. And I can jump. Let me see you jump. On June the 27th, Audrey was found drowned in the bath. She had stopped taking her medication and had an epileptic fit. She'd been known to give up her medication on previous occasions, but nonetheless, the Southwark coroner declared, it is a tragedy that she went to this meeting and thought she was cured of everything. Sadly, it led to her death. Jesus had to go through that same spiritual death in order to pay the price. Now, it wasn't the physical death on the cross that paid the price for sin, because if it had been, any prophet of God that had died for the last couple of thousand years before that could have paid that price. It wasn't physical death. Anybody could do that. To say that if we have a drug available or a medical treatment available, we ought to resort to that just won't line up with the Word of God. You just can't make that line up with the Word of God. Quit this old cop-out prayer, if it be thy will. Bunk. If you have to say, thy, if it be thy will, or thy will be done, if you have to say that, then you're calling God a fool. I'm going to pray the prayer of faith. Not one of those, Lord, if it be thy will. I don't have to pray a prayer of doubt and unbelief.
because we didn't understand what Jesus said and because we've been religiously brainwashed and still New Testament taught, we watered down the promises of God and tacked on something that Jesus didn't say and added on something else to it. Well, he will all right if it's his will, but it might not be his will, people have said. And yet, you don't find that kind of talk in the New Testament. Heretic hunters, these guys who spend their lives straightening us all out doctrinally, they're going to go straight to hell. They're going to absolutely... <laughs> Several people that I know have criticized. Some of them are dead right today in an early grave because of it, and there's more than one of them got cancer. Let me say something else too, and I really don't care if you like this or not. You have attacked me, your children will pay for it. I think they're damned and on their way to hell, and I don't think there's any redemption for them. I say to hell with you. I say get out of God's way. Quit blocking God's bridges, for God's going to shoot you if I don't. And I love Copeland. He's my friend. And anybody who's attacking him is attacking the very presence of God. I refuse to argue any longer with any of you out there. Don't even call me if you want to argue doctrine, if you want to straighten somebody out over here, if you want to criticize Ken Copeland for his preaching on faith or Dad Hagen. Get out of my life. I don't want to even talk to you or hear you. I don't want to see your ugly face. There's a group here in California that thinks they are the judgment seat of Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Dear God in heaven, I wish I can just... Oof. They call out the ministry of my foot. You know, I've looked for one verse in the Bible. I just can't seem to find it. One verse that said, if you don't like him, kill him. I really wish I could find it. <laughs> you stink, frankly. That's the way I think about it. I'm sorry. I'm not exactly the normal kind of guy, you know. I'm from Israel. Sometimes I wish God would give me a Holy Ghost machine gun. I'll blow your head off.